Hi, Frano here. Uh, I'm just going to share some of my opinions and views on uh, on drugs and anything that changes the current state of being that you're in, whether it's uh, a legal drug, an illegal drug, a prescription drug, drink, uh, breathing techniques, you know, anything, even if it's like meditation. Well, let's just put them all into the category of drugs today. So, I'm just going to say, like, anything you do to enhance your experience, and if you tried it and tested it and you know it works for you, because there are things that work more for others than, than some. Like, some people might benefit very well mentally from exercise, whereas some people, it might actually just be driving their ego uh, same thing with drugs like if you some people might roll well with a joint and be able to be creative creative and be able to be happy and still be able to listen to people whereas some people might be able, might have a smoke and then turn into someone that's in their own bubble that can't actually communicate properly with others um, but what I'm saying is that like you need to know and you need to use your body as an experimental like vessel if you will uh, to experience what is right for you and what's going to help you on your path first of all you need to decide pretty much what you want to do and for example if what you want to do is if you don't have much ambitions and you don't really if you don't really care about the job you're, you're in or whatever and you don't want to progress then if you're taking like a calm recreational drug like cannabis and using it in the evening and then going to work every day no one's to tell you that that's bad or if you want to have a few beers no one's gonna like you know that's not gonna stop and I'm not saying it should some people think otherwise but uh, my view on it is basically you need to know what works well in your particular vibration in your particular if it aligns with your path then use it if it's something that's going to pull you off your path off your uh, one path the best path and if you don't really care about aiming for the best possible like well experience and, and result then I mean abuse your body and feed your ego and feed the lust uh, continue living in the moment and continue feeding your moment continue if you want if that's all you care about is right now you want to just live and feed and you want to eat and you want to feel good and you want to just serve yourself then continue but if you've got a if you have like me like a path where you think like you can get into a position to not only better yourself but help others and be like a charitable person which I want to be then you need to really think about what's good, what's good for you, uh, what's getting in the way, who's getting in the way, what substances are getting in the way, what practices are actually helping you and guiding you, and putting you in a light path, and what kind of practices are just bringing you down. So uh, for me, that's something I'm considering right now as I'm talking about it, actually. <laughs> uh, considering what kind of like physical exercises I'm going to do, because uh, I know that like the yoga is working well for me at the moment so to go back to like martial arts I think I'll take it easy a little bit because that can work you up a little bit but uh no honestly just no one's to really tell you what's good for your body and your experience you need to know that so that's the message for today uh and good luck peace and love yeah I'm just gonna add a little bit here quickly I just want to say like uh Generally speaking, whether you love them or not, humans love drugs and we love highs. We love good experiences. We love escapes. We love being thrilled. We love movies. We love stimulation. We love drugs. So, a lot of animals as well, they love drugs, like birds. You know, they love highs. They love having a good time. So, basically, yeah. If you if you hate drugs, you're, you're almost saying, like, I hate to be happy. Or I hate to have a different chemical reaction that's different to the numb, the baseline, boring. I'm not saying you need drugs for that, but I'm saying if you say no to drugs and you're saying no to like exercise, you're saying no to anything 
that's getting you out of a zombie state, then you might as well go lie down in the grave now. <laughs>